Hey Ron, so just a quick video. I don't know if this is gonna be for the side channel or for Patreon only or what, but we're gonna use a trick that Joe from Bearded Hardware taught me and remove the heat spreaders from some memory. It should be pretty easy. Doing this by hand is, it's always a little bit worrying because the amount of force required to pry apart the, it's not just thermal pads, it's like a thermal adhesive they use. And so once you start pulling hard enough to remove heat spreaders from memory, the risk is that you end up ripping the memory module out or some small capacitor or something like that. So liquid nitrogen in a small container like this one works really well. And the reason we're doing this is because for our secondary editing machine, right now we're using slow memory because the only kit we have six sticks of with heat spreaders that's uh, actually good, it, it doesn't fit because it's an EVGA SR3 board, and the SR3 board has the memory slots really close to the water block, so there's not much of a, the keep out zone's pretty infringed upon by the memory slots, is what the, the problem is that we're dealing with. So to fix that, for the two sticks closest to the CPU socket, we can drop this in to just a bucket of liquid nitrogen and hopefully have them pop off right away, and uh, that'll allow us to get the memory we have in there now out of there because it's really slow server memory. It's like 2400 or 2666 or something. And I think it's causing a lot of problems for our uh, editing playback speed on that system. So uh, that's the plan. Joe taught me this trick. The first thing we're going to need is some liquid nitrogen. And second thing I need to do is remove the whatever this thing is that G skill puts on the top of it. Diamonds, I guess. So let's get some LN2 to start with. So for the liquid nitrogen, I just need enough to fill that that small RAM tray, and hopefully that's a big enough container to put it in. Uh, like I said, Joe and I did this. He actually put a video on his main channel, on his only channel, I think, previously. But it's a good trick, and it doesn't harm the memory, at least in my experience so far. So it should be pretty easy to work with. Okay, so these are Trident Z Royals. We received these originally from, I don't know if it was G Skill or Intel, but the goal was to work with the W3175X. And it's a, that CPU, it's six channels. So that's why we've got six sticks of RAM. And that's also why this is kind of a unique situation because most of our kits are either two or four. And some we can combine them and get eight, but we don't have many for six. So six has got us uh, we've, we've pretty much got these and then that really slow kit that's in there now. And these have still had the protectors on them the whole time. For the most part, the Trident Z Royals I've worked with have been pretty good, but they are all really fingerprint prone. And uh, I can't say I'm a big fan of the thing on top of them, but the memory performance is really good. Super easy to overclock for the ones I've worked with so far. Okay, so we need to get rid of whatever this is. I don't know if we can just maybe pry it off or if there's a release mechanism. These are so shiny in the light, I actually can't see what I'm doing. Okay, cool. Yeah, so they, I see how it works. They just like twist at the center and then it comes out. So that's gonna be one. I could peel this off definitely on the, on one of the sides, but uh, that's a lot of force required to get that moving. So we're going to try the Allen 2 trick. I don't know if this is deep enough. We'll find out. We should hear a pop at some point. That might have been it. That sounds like it. So we're just gonna let this boil. It's uh, almost minus 200 degrees Celsius. And it boils off pretty quickly just because the room temperature is so much significantly higher at about 21, 22 degrees Celsius. That's cool looking. Does that show up? That like weird? Yeah. It looks like, I don't know. Looks like cat hair f floating above it. That's very cold. <laughs> it's 
So I'm thinking this one might be, yeah, there goes one side. Now a reminder, this is a heat sink. So I can't touch this yet. <laughs> it's gonna be extremely cold. To definitely burn me if I touch it. So I'm not gonna touch the metal heat sink yet. What? You could see it condensing. Like oh yeah, cool. turning white. Yeah. Liquid nitrogen's very cool. Oh, okay, cool. So definitely one of them is off. So I can go get one of the Allen 2 gloves if I need it, I guess. Because <laughs> this is not particularly effective. Oh, that's coming off too. Cool. I need like a spatula or a skillet. <laughs> yeah, it's like deep frying the ram. in that, that fast food grease. I think that one's already off, but we're just gonna make sure. Boils fast. Is this too cold to touch? No, okay. So there's the, uh, the one that came off. You can see this was attached to some memory modules, some dim modules. And still just completely whited out from how cold it was. But we'll put that aside somewhere and hang on to that. I think I'm going to dump some of this. That's going to freeze the mod mat, yep. But we have another mod mat under it. So this is, this is kind of cool. Fun behind the scenes for you. In the disappointment build where we have the shot where the Radeon card and one of the, and the, uh, that Intel CPU fall over, that was done by pouring Allen 2 onto the mod mat like this because uh, it freezes it, obviously, turns it into a hardened surface instead of this, like if you look over here, the normal, I mean, it's rubber, so it does what rubber would do and it moves. So that's how we knocked them over in that clip. Okay, let's see if it's ready. <laughs> it really is like, we need Gordon Ramsay in here. I'm gonna leave that one until it um, isn't burning hot to touch because I don't wanna, what I don't wanna do is pry this off while it's still frozen, just in case that rips uh, any of the components off. So we'll leave that one alone. Let's do this one. Forgot to take the oh yeah, shoot, thanks. That one can stay over there. Oh, this isn't cold yet. Yeah. Let's just prep it with a little peeling. Yep, that sounds like the heat spreader coming off. Sounds like both of them came off already. Oh yeah, it's nice. That's what we're looking for. So I don't know if that'll pick up on the mic. I wasn't talking, so we might be able to boost the audio. And uh, either way, you get a definitely get a definitive pop doing that. It's normally pretty obvious when they've separated. Nice. And we didn't even lose any components.
indents of components, but no components. So these parts will all be fine. They're going to end up with water on them, but because we're not plugging them in right away, uh, it's not going to cause any harm. It would only be bad if we went and plugged them in, turned it on while it's still wet. This one I'm going to try and finish that side off. So yeah, LN2, very good tool to have around. <laughs> nice. Heap the uh, thermal pad still on this one, but it is it is uh, finished. So you can see I've still got the thermal pad on there, but that's okay. I can remove that by hand or. Um, or leave it on there because that wasn't really the, the problem part. So I think that's going to be it. We only need to do this on two. The others should all fit. But if they don't, then we can bring it back over here. This genuinely does feel like I'm cooking something, though. <laughs> so that's the trick that Joe taught me previously. Like I said, we've got a video of uh, Joe and I both doing this for one of his kits of memory on his channel. So if you want to see it, there is one over there. going to dump that. So that's all there is to it. So yeah, I don't know how practical that is, but it's cool. Um, otherwise, you can pry it off very carefully or pull at it. Just be careful not to rip any of the other stuff off with it. Some of these are on there. So like the, the thermal adhesive or thermal pads they use are on there so hard that it's like once you get to the point where it feels uncomfortable to try and continue pulling the heat spreader off, it's probably time to stop and figure out a better way. Maybe you could heat them up in a system first. That might help as well. I've done that before too when I don't, like before I was doing this. So yeah, that's our trick. But I guess we'll get a B-roll shot of some of the modules and throw that in here and then we'll be done. So thanks for watching. Uh, check back this channel for, I don't know if it's going to Patreon or public or what the plan is, but you can check back here for other stuff that's just kind of extra. And otherwise go to the main channel for everything else. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.